What's happening everyone, we're back today with another video on the ST. Today I've been sort of reluctant and excited to do this, um, but the part's been sitting around for a while now. It's come back from powder coat, so we need to just crack on with this. So today we're going to be doing basically a full front suspension overhaul. We're doing new track rod ends, new steering arms on the inner tie rods, um, obviously new steering rack bushes and uh, gaiters, new drop links, a powder coated subframe, powder coated tubular wishbones, and I think that's about it. But um, oh, and some anti roll bar drop links. No drop links, and some anti roll bar bushes with a pow with a um, powder coated anti roll bar too. So I'm just going to get the wheels off. I'm going to pull uh, obviously the wishbones and suspension setup that's holding uh, the subframe to the car we're just going to pull it off as one unit and then obviously reassemble the new stuff step by step because it is a bit different um i did want some if i just show you all the stuff see it's still in bubble wrap but that's the blue subframe and then all the wishbones are in there powder coated in white uh, i did want some rubber boots for the uh, rose joints as you can see but the ones I got were just too small in that little box there. But um, all I'm going to do is just pull this front wheel, like pull the front wheel off, show you what you sort of need to take off, and then I'll just go around and do the other side off camera just to make it a bit of a quicker job. Okay, because we are doing steering arms and stuff like that today, we're going to be taking this nut off here, this one. We'll get the drop link out of the shock and. We'll take the lower arm bolt there out for the wishbone and just get it out the way. Yeah, that little spray. I think they're about 22. Okay. And just break the taper. And then once you've done that, you just basically count the turns. All right, 18 and a bit. Okay, if you do get stuck, some most of the four ones, especially you've got stock ones like I do, have the bit where you put 17 mil behind it. Uh, but again, with the lower arm bolts and stuff like that, track rod ends, just a reason why I'm not really saying the sizes is because obviously if you've got aftermarket ones and stuff, they're all going to be different, they're never the same. that bracket because you'll need that all right so that's your wishbone 
chat rod end, drop link all out from the um, hub. So all I'm going to do now is just do that on the other side and then we should be able to actually start looking at what we need to do to lower this subframe down. Okay, so we're just going to get this steering off. Now I've already done the other side just to make it quicker. Uh, just make sure the nut is off here and then there's a little clip just there. Which is going to be a pain on like the other side. There is another clip just there. Okay, that's off. And now you should be able to. With a bit of luck, pull this boot off. Just... Okay. One of these bad boys. If you don't, you're gonna struggle. You just slide it over. I'll probably. Until the tool grips. Easy as that. And all I'll do is I'll just slide on the new boot and we'll worry about the clips. When the subframe's out of the way, because it's going to be a bit of a pain with it there, I need just a rack in position. I want to put a nut on there so I don't lose it. Remove the 13mm for your, uh, which is a bolt here, for your lower engine mount. So that's out of the way. What I'm gonna probably do is cable tie the rack to the exhaust manifold. It's nice and cold as you can tell, so it's not gonna do anything. Just so when the subframe drops down, it's not actually going to rely, like the rack ain't just gonna rely on its universal joint up there. It's gonna have something else to fall on. Um, but yeah, other than that, all we wanna do really is there's a 13 up there, another one there, another one there, another one there. Same goes for the other side, don't worry about these two, these just hold the back bushing for the wishbone. And then in theory, once we undo them with the support of a jack under about here, this whole unit should drop out with the uh, drop links and wishbones attached. We can pull it out, put the new one on the jack, and pretty much go also I forgot to mention just there where my finger is there is a nut and obviously 13 mil there as well for the rack that will be taken off too. So let's get back to it.
know what it is with your area. It's fucking up. They're like Okay, so subframes now out as you can see. Give it a light to the equation. Um, I've just got the boots over the rack as well. Absolute nightmare. Glad I did it with the actual subframe off. Now we're going to look at trying to get these bushes out. I'm thinking maybe just put a sleeve over here with a, a ball joint puller tool, or maybe just get a uh, large socket of some sort. I'll see, I'll try and figure it out anyway, but let's just put you to the side and see what we can uh, figure out. Okay, so got the alley bushes from Kinsey, as you can see, they're quite nice quality, all machined from Billet. No shock, they just slot straight in. Let's do the other side quick. Okay, so Clips are on both sides now, bushes are in, so I'm just going to start now preparing the subframe and whatever's left on the wishbones for assembly. Okay, sorry about that. Um, weekly shop turned up and I'm the only person here. So, them bolts that I originally put in these ones were the wrong ones there for something else there for the wishbones so I just sprayed up the uh, original ones just with a bit of, of uh, silver paint just to make them look a bit nicer <laughs> which is all chipped off and I don't really care no more fuck it I'm not gonna see it Okay, so that's all on now. That's the roll bar mounted with the Powerflex bushes. Looking lovely. So technically this can actually go on now. So I suppose uh, we better get her loaded onto the jack and start raising her up, I guess. Um, Uh, I actually had a subframe uh, captive nut spin on me. Luckily, I managed to get it tightened though. But she is back in. As you can see, the bushes, a wishbone bracket. In with the alley mounts on the, or alley bushes on the steering rack. New steering arms too, so it's just going to be a case of get this. Uh, Get these wishbones on, get new track rod on, track rod ends on, and then hopefully we should be able to put her back together. So let's get to it, boys. Okay, we'll just get this all in uh, finger tight. Basically, what I've just done 
There are two like little spacers, one there and one underneath, allowing the joint to pivot and stay in place. And obviously just your nut, bolt and washer as you do. So let's get this other side in and then hopefully we should be able to match two up. So let's just turn this to one side. So we're all back together now. Looks really, really good. Just those hubs letting it down. Little underside shot. Really, really happy of how this turned out. So good. Can't wait to get it on the floor and drive it. Okay, so car is all back together. Gave it a quick test drive. Obviously, as you can tell, it's another day because I forgot to outro the video. I was very tired, was out here all day. Um, and we are having some issues with the wishbones actually fouling against the wheel on full lock. So, obviously, yes, it's messed up the powder coat a bit, so I'm just going to have to touch it in. Just going to have to live with it. I can't get too annoyed. Um, other than that though, the car feels really, really tight. Um, and then I eventually went on to try and space the wheels out by 10 mil. Made a bit of a difference, but it still was fouling on full lock as I, as I parked out the next morning and I just heard it grind a little bit and I thought, for fuck's sake. So um, yeah, as you can tell, these jobs, they're... And sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. But it's just one of those things. Um, but obviously when you have few good mates in the car scene, Mr. Alex Bohm, if you haven't checked his channel out, uh, be sure to check it out in the description of this video because he has given me a solution, which you'll have to find out in the next video. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video, I really enjoyed making this one and getting the car to a really really nice um, position, looks really nice under there, uh, I'm really really happy with it, just a few teething issues but you get out of anything custom. Um, but yeah, be sure to check out my other videos if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you later.